Hi, this is Justin from Abstract Data, and in this video, I'll be giving an overview of the ADE20 multi-mode voltage-controlled filter. The ADE20 is a two-pole filter with a 12 dB cutoff and a complete set of control voltage features. It provides simultaneous low, high, and bandpass outputs, and unique to Eurorack filters, the ADE20 also has an all-pass output for subtle phaser-style effects. The ADE20's resonance can be pushed into self-oscillation and will oscillate beyond the upper and lower ends of the audio frequency range. The ADE20 also features a unique feedback insert which lets you run external audio signals into the resonance feedback path or allows you to create stacked filter types. This significantly increases the sonic capabilities of this filter. The ADE20 has a complete control voltage spec allowing manual, onboard and external control over the frequency cutoff and resonance level. There are manual gain and attenuation controls for both the audio and feedback inputs and there is a dedicated input for the frequency cutoff that scales external CV signals to the 1 volt per octave standard. The ADE20 is an all analog design. The two poles that make up the core of the filter are both based on discrete transistor level electronics. This gives the ADE20 a rich vintage sound that you will only get from analog. The power supply has reverse voltage polyfuse protection on both rails. It fits comfortably into a panel that is 10 HP wide and its shallow build will fit easily into most racks. Let's take a look at the front panel hardware. At top left, you have manual control for the volume of the audio input. This control gives you up to 50% gain or 50% attenuation of your input signal. This control is pre-effect, so it allows you to adjust the mix level between the external audio input and the resonance, which in turn allows you to control how smooth or aggressive sounding the filter is. When used with a standard input signal of around plus or minus 5 volts peak to peak, turning the audio input all the way up or fully clockwise will also add a little bit of clipping to the input signal. It's really good for dirty 303 style leads, for example. At top right, there is a manual control for the volume of the feedback input. This control gives you up to 50% gain or 50% attenuation of the feedback input signal. Second on the left is the manual control for the cutoff frequency. This controls the filter sweep for all four filter types. Second on the right is the manual control for the resonance level. This will increase the resonance or the Q of the filter output. At zero resonance or with the control fully counterclockwise, you get a nice clean filter sweep. Increasing the resonance level will eventually push the filter into self-oscillation. The ADE20 has a nice, fast resonance response, right down to low frequencies, which makes it great for highly dynamic passages and is great for creating filter kicks and subs. Third on the left is the level control for the external CV input controlling frequency cutoff. And finally, third on the right is the level control for the external CV input controlling the resonance level. Let's look at the ADE20's inputs and outputs. The ADE20 has two signal inputs. Top left is the main audio input, and in the middle of the top row, you have a feedback input. In very simple terms, for a filter to self-oscillate, there has to be a loop where some of the output is fed back into the input. On a filter, the amount of output that is fed back into the input is controlled by the resonance control. Now keeping with that idea of a loop, the ADE20 allows you to insert an external signal in parallel with that loop. The feedback insert will operate whether resonance is at zero or 100% and it will operate even if there is no audio signal inserted to the main output. Best of all, it's not limited to just external audio sources. Running the output of one filter type back into the feedback insert while listening to the output of another filter type offers a massive potential for sounds you won't get out of any other filter. The ADE20 has a total of three external CV inputs. The first two, on the middle row, are for the cutoff frequency and the resonance control. They are both DC coupled and will accept just about any signal you can find within the Eurorack modular environment. There is also a dedicated CV input for the frequency cutoff that is scaled to the 1 volt per octave standard. The ADE20 outputs four simultaneous filter types. It gives you low pass, high pass, band pass, and an all pass output. These outputs are non-inverting, so the phase of your input and output signals remain the same, and each output has its own buffer, so you can drive plenty of other modules with any or all of the other filter outputs. Let's have a listen to some basic filter sweeps. 
starting with the low-pass filter with a resonance at zero. Increasing the resonance slightly. And again to about 50%. And finally, with the resonance at 100%. Next is the high pass filter. Again, we're starting with the resonance at zero. Increasing the resonance to about 25%. And again to about 50%. And finally with the resonance at 100%. Next we have the bandpass filter. Increasing the resonance. And again. And last, a pass with the resonance at 100%. Finally, we have the all pass filter. We're starting with straight pass with no resonance. A second pass with about 25% resonance. A third with the resonance up to about 50%. and one last pass at 100% resonance. So there it is, the ADE20 multi-mode filter from Abstract Data. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. You're welcome to leave comments and rate the video here on my YouTube channel, or if you've got questions or would like more info, please feel free to contact me via my website at abstractdata.biz.